so this is the question which we are having which we need to solve the line integration over the path of straight line from 0 comma 0 to 1 comma 0 okay that means you need to draw this line and you have to integrate along uh, this straight line okay so he has given 0 comma 0 that means origin to 1 comma 0 and then you have to try integration from uh, 1 comma 1 to sorry 1 comma 0 to 1 comma 1 okay so let us see how to do so let us see what and all they have given given f vector given f is equal to x y i plus x square plus y square j okay next d r equal to d x i plus d y j plus d z k but here d z is not there so we can uh, leave that d z so implies f dot d r will be how much f dot d r is equal to uh, x y if you do the dot product between these two okay x y d x plus x square plus y square d y okay so let us keep this as it is now i want to find the integration of this quantity in uh, this line okay so let us draw that uh, straight line between these two points okay suppose if you take a uh, coordinate axis like this and this is origin 0 comma 0 and where does 1 comma 0 will come somewhere here step 1 so here 1 comma 0 okay now you need to find the integration along this straight line joining these two points okay so i'll write i'll name this point origin i am writing it as o and this i am taking it as a point okay so integration along integration along uh, OA along the straight line OA okay so let us write the details so in these two points what is the common value compare x and y values okay so here y is constant y equal to 0 clear because in the first point y equal to 0 in the second point also y equal to 0 so y is constant but uh, x ranges from that means uh, 0 less than x less than 1 or you can put equal to less than or equal to so here x is varying from 0 to 1 so that means you need to apply integration l with respect to x okay so implies uh, f dot dr is equal to so x value keep as it is y value substitute into 0 dx will get okay next plus x square keep as it is because x value is changing y value plus 0 okay next dy value if x value is 0 sorry if y value is 0 then differentiate on both sides so we'll get dy also 0 so into 0 so what happens f dot dr equal to how much we got 0 right so x into 0 we got 0 here next to x square into dy value is also 0 so i'll get 0 okay if you integrate on both sides 
what happens f dot dr okay around the curve c which is equal to integral x ranging from 0 to 1 okay 0 dx so the value is 0 along this straight line oe okay next one more point he has given 1 comma 1 okay so 1 comma 1 but means x and y values we got some value so this point is 1 comma 1 i am writing this as b point and draw one straight line and you need to find the integration along this straight line okay so integration along straight line ab okay getting right so now i am finding integration through some straight line okay so here a point is how much a point is 1 comma 0 next b point is 1 comma 1 okay here what is the common value if you compare x and y values here here also x equal to 1 here also x equal to 1 so x equal to 1 you can keep constant okay and uh, y value ranging from 0 to 1 okay so that means 0 less than or equal to y less than or equal to 1 clear yeah. so that means you need to do integration with respect to y okay so f dot dr is equal to what i'll do is in this equation 1 what i'll do i'll substitute x value okay so that means 1 into y dy sorry dx here since x equal to 1 implies what is dy value or dx value if you differentiate on both sides so i'll get 0 so dx is equal to 0 so i'll get 1 into y into 0 plus x square x square means 1 square plus y value ranging from 0 to 1 so we have to keep the variable as it is you get y square into dy so dy remains as it is okay so implies what is f dot dr value now 1 plus y square into dy okay so apply integration on both sides so what happens integral f dot dr around the curve c uh, this c is nothing but ab straight line you can write ab straight line is equal to integration 1 plus y square dy So y value ranging from where to where, zero to one. So you can put limits are zero to one. Implies integration of this how much? You get y plus y cube by three, where the y value ranging from zero to one. Okay. So substitute that values. How much you get? One plus one by three. So how much? Four by three. Clear. So this is the integral value along f dot dr about the straight line AB. Okay. Therefore, what we need to do? We need to write integration from origin to this point up to last point. So implies. integral f dot dr is equal to what we need to do is we have to add this integral and this integral okay so that means integral oa f dot dr 
is equal to integral sorry here plus a b f dot dr okay so this one is equal to 0 plus 4 by 3 so the final answer is 4 by 3 yeah so in this way we will find the integration along some certain path fine getting Is it fine? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I'll go for a second question in the same one. Okay. So we need to find the integral value of f dot dr along the straight line joining origin and one comma two. Okay, so let us see how does it will satisfy. So, Wait, can you show the previous slide? Yes. Fine. So next here again, you write. Given points this is second question in the second sub question given points are 0 comma 0 and denoting it as some a or origin you can take origin o and a point has he has given it as 1 comma 2 okay so implies the straight line along O and A or along O A is what is the formula for two point uh, straight line for two points whenever two points they have given how to find the straight line we have the two point form right y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1. Correct. So I am taking this point as x1 comma y1. I am taking this as x2 comma y2. Okay. So implies uh, y minus y1, y1 means 0, next y2, y2 is 2 minus y1, y1 is 0, next 1 minus 0 into x minus x1, x1 is 0. Okay, so implies y is equal to 2x. So 2 by 1 into x, we will get 2x. So I got y value. So, I will make use of this y value in f dot dr 
and I'll convert that complete integral into dx form. Okay. So you got y equal to two x implies uh, differentiate this one with respect to x. How much you get? dy by dx is equal to two. You'll get. So implies dy is equal to two dx. Okay. So I have found the dy value as in terms of dx. Clear. Now, therefore. F dot dr is equal to what is that F dot dr x y dx next x square plus y square dy okay so this is F dot dr substitute. y equal to 2x and dy is equal to 2dx in above equation okay so implies your f dot dr value will be substitute this values how much you'll get here only i'll write f dot dr is equal to x into 2x dx plus x square plus 2x whole square dy value is 2 dx okay so implies f dot dr value finally you'll get just simplify it and try directly directly write so I'll get two x square, two x square plus x square plus four x square. Sorry, into two is the right. So I have to write into two. That means uh, two x square plus eight x square will get into dx. So integral f dot dr. So first I'll write f dot dr. So total how much? 12 x square dx implies integrate on both sides. If you integrate on both sides, integral f dot dr is equal to integral 12 x square dx implies integral f dot dr okay so you are integrating with respect to x so what is the x value ranges from where to where if you draw a line like this here the point 1 comma 2 okay you are drawing a straight line like this this is 0 comma 0 so this along this straight line you need to find integration okay so what is x value here zero here x value one so integral x varies from zero to one so 12 x square dx so this is nothing but 12 into x cube by three ranges from zero to one this one is equal to 12 into 1 by 3 minus 0. So that means answer is 4. Integral f dot dr is equal to 4 unit. Around the given curve C. Next we will try this. Solution. So here, um, they have given find the total work done here. They, if they give any uh, kind of words like this, total work done. Total work done is nothing but integral f dot dr. Okay. 
So that means force vector dot radius vector. Okay. So total work done by the force represented by F is equal to this much in a moving particle around the circle. So that means he has given a circle equation and you have to evaluate the integral throughout the circle. Okay. So let us see how to do this. Given uh, F vector is equal to 3xy i minus yj plus 2zx k. Okay. But dr vector, you know, is equal to dxi plus dyj plus dzk. Okay. So, implies integral, sorry, before finding integral, you need to find f dot dr. F dot dr is equal to uh, 3xy dx okay plus uh, here minus y you'll get so minus y dy okay similarly plus 2zx dz okay and given he has given uh, that the particle is moving around the circle. So that means you need to find uh, integration along this circle. Okay. So implies therefore integration along the circle uh, x square plus y square is equal to 4. Okay. So, if you want to do this, uh, this uh, problem in the previous method, like uh, you have to convert the complete variable in terms of any one variable. Okay. So, what happens if I convert y in terms of x, you get y square is equal to 4 minus x square. So, y is equal to root of 4 minus x square. Okay. But, you can substitute this in this equation, but while doing integration for this, what happens? It will become more complicated. So to avoid the complication, what I will do is, I will convert this circle equation in terms of uh, trigonometric functions. Okay. So I have to take some x value and y value such that which satisfies this equation. Okay. Can any can anyone of you tell uh, if you take which kind of trigonometric function this equation will be satisfied? We need to select some x and y values which satisfy above equation. We call this as parametric equations. We are selecting parametric equations here. You can take any value for x and y in terms of trigonometry. So that equation should satisfy. Yes. Cosine 45 and the sec 45. Cosecant? 45 degree and secant 45 degree. No, I'm not. Uh, you have to take functions, not angle value. Angle he has given complete circle. Run. Here, this is a complete circle. Angle is two pi. angle is 360 degrees, uh, it has to be rotated. Suppose if I take this one as x equal to 2 cos theta, comma y equal to 2 sin theta. What happens? Take x equal to 2 cos theta. That means 4 cos square theta plus here 4 sin square theta 
which is nothing but if you take four common cos square theta plus sin square theta. So this value will be one. You are getting answer as four. So that means these two equations are satisfying this one. Sir, how you got that equation x and y? Huh? You have x. to select, ma. Yes. Like how did you select? You have to select like randomly. You have to test by trial and error. You have to check. I don't understand, sir. How that equation came? Huh? This, sir. Ah, that one. See, uh, that is what uh, you. Know, we know the fact that cos square theta plus sine square theta equal to one. Correct. This is correct or not? Cos square theta plus sine square theta equal to one. You know this fact, right? Yeah, yeah, ha, correct. Correct, na. So what I will do is here. Anyhow, the squares are there. Okay, I want to get this number. Okay. If I want to get this number, I have to take. Uh, I have to convert this number in terms of uh, squares. Okay. So how I how can I convert this number in terms of square? Two square, na? Correct. Four can be converted into two square. So left hand side squares are there. Right hand side also squares are there. So that means I can add this number to this cos theta. Okay, so that I will get four cos square theta. Similarly, I will add two to this y, and I will take y as sine theta. So I will get again four sine square theta. So I will make use of this fact so that I will take common of this cos square theta plus sine square theta is equal to one. We will use that fact. Finally, we got the answer as four. Clear. So this is the only way. That means x value can take only this value, and y value only can take this value. So you should have uh, some knowledge on trigonometry. Then only is it po it is pos possible. Clear. So we have to take the advantage of some uh, properties in trigonometry. And you have to take uh, the parameters like this. Okay. Even while taking the substitution, also we will select like that only. Depend on the problem, will uh, uh, the the condition will change. Okay. So we got. Uh, parametric equations as x is equal to 2 cos theta and y equal to 2 sin theta. Okay, so implies. Uh, I'll substitute these equations in f dot dr. And where does theta value ranges from? Throughout the circle, right? Okay, throughout the circle means it has to completely rotate for one rotation. Okay, what is the angle for one complete rotation? 2 pi, right? Yes, sir. So, angle range is from zero less than theta less than or equal to two pi. Okay. So now I will convert this complete equation in terms of theta. Okay. But here one more uh, doubt we got. What about z value in this equation? So we don't have z here. Okay. So what we'll do is. If you want to satisfy this condition, I have to take z is equal to zero. Okay, so take all these three values in this f dot dr and substitute in it and get f dot dr value. In terms of theta, I'll get so first substitute three into x. So that means three into Two cos theta into y value two sine theta. So I need to find dx value. So if you differentiate with respect to x on both sides, what happens? Minus two sine theta. Huh? Minus two sine theta. 
So here I'll get x is equal to two cos theta. Okay. So differentiate with respect to theta. So I'll get dx is equal to minus two sine theta. Correct. So dx value we got it as minus two sine theta. Comma dy value if you differentiate with respect to theta. So I'll get two cos theta. So dx value you got it as minus two sine theta. So this complete one term minus dy into dy. So y means two sine theta into dy value is two cos theta. Okay. So this complete into d theta you'll get because here. dx by d theta will get right if you differentiate with respect to x i am sending this d theta to this side so i'll get d theta here so this complete equation into d theta will get okay so this one is equal to Here only I'll write here d theta comma here also d theta. So just uh, simplify this. How much will get? Three six uh, six into two twelve minus twenty four minus twenty four minus twenty four cos theta sine square, square, square theta. Okay. Next minus Four sine theta, theta. Mm -hmm. sine theta cos theta. Okay, so this is the value which you got. Okay, now we need to apply integration for this. F dot dr. Okay, so I'll write this diagram here. This is nothing but x square plus y square equal to four. Where the radius is two. Okay, so integral f dot dr around the given curve is equal to integral. Uh, where does theta ranges from zero to two pi? Okay, minus twenty four uh, cos theta sine square theta d theta. Or we can write it as okay. I'll write separately. Next minus integral zero to two pi sine theta cos theta. Here four I can write here d theta. So this one is equal to minus twenty four. Integral zero to two pi. Okay, so this one sine square theta cos theta d theta minus uh, integral zero to two pi. I am writing this one as two aside two sine theta cos theta d theta. Okay. I think you know the value of two sine theta cos theta. Is how much? Sine two theta. Sine two theta. theta. So you can substitute that value here. Okay, and uh, we have one more formula like integral f dash of x into f of x whole power n dx is how much? Integral f of x whole power n f dash of x dx. So this is nothing but f of x whole power n plus one by n plus one. So these two formulas I am going to use here now. Okay. So this one is equal to minus twenty four. What is f of x here and what is 
f dash of x here. That you have to select. Sin cube theta by three, sir. No. F of x is sin square theta. No, no. F of x is sin theta. Okay. F dash of x is cos theta. Okay. So sin square. That means f of x whole power n. N value is two here. Okay. So the answer will be how much? Sin cube theta by three, which ranges from zero to two pi. Okay. Next minus two into. So this value can be written as integral sin two theta d theta. Okay. So this one is equal to. So minus twenty four. So if you apply two pi, how much? Sine two pi. Zero. So we'll get zero. Zero. Again minus zero. Okay. Sine zero also zero. Okay. Next minus two into. So what we got this one? Cos two theta by two. But With minus integration of sine theta is minus cos theta. Okay, but here sine a x is there. Integration of sine a x minus cos a x by a. So this minus of minus will get plus. So these two get cancelled. So how much will get? Zero to two pi. Is equal to. What will be the answer? So first one is zero minus of minus of minus will get plus cos two pi. So cos two pi means how much? One. Ah, uh, one right? Because cos n pi, where if n is even, will get cos n pi value can be decided as. One if n is even. Similarly, minus one if n is odd. Okay, so two into theta value is two pi. So two into two four pi will get cos four pi value is plus one. Next minus cos zero. Cos zero value is also one. So one minus one zero we got. So the overall answer is zero. Clear. Fine. Yes, sir. So, any doubts here? Sir, can you explain it one time? Hmm. Can you explain it? So here uh, it is nothing but just uh, it is not like previous problem now. Huh? Previous problem, what they have given? If you observe the previous problem here, they have given two points. Okay, so if you observe that two previous problem, if you observe these two points, here we are having common values for x and y. Okay, so whenever you are having common values for x and y, I have taken y value directly and I have substituted in this equation. Okay. So we got f dot dr value in terms of only one variable. Clear. Similarly, if you observe this problem, what happens? X is also changing, y is also changing. So when both are changing, what I'll do is I'll find the equation passing through those points. So I'll get this one. Okay. So I'll substitute y equal to 2x in the f dot dr so that f dot dr will convert into one variable. Clear. So this has happened in this equation, but uh, what happened to this equation means we don't have such kind of options here. If I want to convert y in terms of x, what I have to do? Y is equal to root of x square minus four. You'll get. Okay. 
if i substitute this y value in this equation what happens i need to calculate this dy also right so differentiation of this will be how much 1 by 2 root x square minus y uh, x square minus 4 into 2x will get so 2 to get cancel and uh, you have to substitute y and dy values in f dot dr okay so if you substitute these two values here so what happens integration will be complicated okay so to avoid that complication what i did is i have make an use of trigonometric functions to solve this problem okay so that i'll get the solution when in a easy way okay so for that what i say uh, what i did is i found out some equations for x and y such that it satisfy this equation because he is asking us to evaluate the integral through this circle equation correct so for this all methods have been avoided because of their difficulty so finally i got one solution based on trigonometric formulas for x and y so that means you have to convert it into one variable that is theta you have selected okay so if i want to substitute some x and y value which satisfy this equation means i have to make use of some properties in trigonometry so here we have the advantage is x and y having squares okay so if i take x is equal to cos theta and y equal to sin theta what happens one you will get okay but one is not equal to four so if you want to get four what i have to do i have to multiply uh, two to cos and sin theta correct so if i multiply two to cos and two to sin so what happens if i substitute in this equation you'll get 2 square 4 and 2 square 4 and if i take that 4 common cos square theta plus sin square theta equal to 1 4 into 1 you'll get 4 so that means my x equation and y equation is satisfying this circle equation okay and whenever the circle is uh, rotating completely once so it rotates on 0 to 2 pi angle okay so i got finalize it for x and y and here z value is not there okay in this equation so if z value is not there means i'll take zero here okay so now we got set for equations okay now differentiate with respect to theta so i'll get dx value and dy value okay so substitute all this x y dx and dy in this equation f dot dr equation so i have substituted here i got this equation finally because uh, in the last equation i had to z equal to 0 if i take z equal to 0 this term will be vanished clear so we got one advantage so that uh, one term got vanished in f dot dr okay next what i did i have applied integration on both sides okay if i apply integration on both sides again we got the equations like this integrand will be like this so what i did is i have minimized 2 sin theta cos theta as sin 2 theta so that my integration will be easy so for the first one what i did i have make use of one more property in integration integral f dash of x into f of x whole power n dx can be written as f of x whole power n plus 1 by n plus 1 okay so i have make use of that property and i have found x value okay sorry uh, this integrand value okay so finally i have integrated and i got uh, the value as 0 yes sir fine so in integration like vector integration is not like a unique problem so it may change according to uh, the condition which they have given in the question okay so don't expect like uh, a unique integration like uh, regular integration in uh, each and every problem it will vary de depends upon the problems okay so by practice it will get more so with one problem you won't get so by practice uh, it will get you have to uh, solve some more uh, number of problems on it 
then only it will be understood clear is it clear understood now how do how do we got this yes sir yes sir next i'll just explain this problem you just uh, take, try to take it as homework here there is no complication they have given x value y value and z value in terms of t okay so this i'll explain uh, explain randomly so that you can do it okay so he has given phi is equal to x y z square that means 2 x y z square they have given substitute x value y value z value here so 2 into t square into 2t into t cube whole square because z square is there so z value is t cube whole square they have taken so phi value in terms of t have written that means 4 into 4 2 to 2 into 2 4 T cube plus into T, so I'll get sorry T square into T, T cube, T cube into T power six, so T power nine I'll get. Four into T power nine you got. Okay, now what is D or value? D X I plus D Y J plus D Z K. Okay, if I want to get dx, dy, dz, first I have to write x is equal to t square, y equal to 2t, z equal to t cube. Okay, differentiate this complete equations with respect to t. So what happens? dx is equal to 2t dt. Okay. Similarly, this one value will be dy is equal to 2 dt because differentiation of t with respect to 1 is uh, with respect to t is 1 next dz is equal to 3t square dt okay so what we did we just uh, differentiated with respect to t on both sides for this values so i'll get this one so i'll substitute dx dy dz value in this how much will get 2t i plus 2j plus 3t square k into dt. I have taken dt common. Okay. Now what he is asking integration of phi dr. Okay. So therefore integration of phi into dr. So there is no dot product between these two. Only into. Okay. So integration of phi phi value is 4 into t power 9. Into 2t i plus 2j plus 3t square k into dt. Okay, just multiply it. Integration also you have to do i i quotient separate, j quotient separate, and k quotient separate. So that means integral 4 into t power 10 i plus uh, here you have to write dt. Plus uh, integral 4 into 2 8 right here, so I'll get 8. Here also 8 t power 9 uh, dt j plus 4 into 3, so I'll get 12 integral t power 11 dt k. So integrate these values and put i j k with respect to this. Okay. I'll get the answer. Okay, so finally the integration for this integral will be some vector. Okay, similarly f cross dr you have to do f cross dr. Okay, where f he has given it as how much x y i minus z j plus three. Sorry. X square k you got. Okay, convert this in terms of t. What happens? T 
square into 2t. So that means 2t cube i minus zj. Z means t cube j x square. X square means t square whole square. So t power 4k. Okay. So f cross dr value, how will you calculate? Means ijk f value 2t cube minus t cube. Here t power 4 will be there. Next dx dy dz value. So dx dy dz value are this. So 2t dt. Okay. Next here 2 dt. Next here 3 t square dt. Okay. Do the cross product by finding determinant of this. Okay. And then integrate like this i quotient separate, j quotient separate and k quotient separate. So I will get the answer for this. Clear? So take it as homework and complete this problem.